if you want to be confident, you have to make promises to yourself and you have to keep them. This is going to get real interesting real quick. Hi friends, I'm Cindy. If you're new here, if you're not new here, welcome back. I'm a very anxious person. I, my whole life, have been anxious. Um, something I've recently learned about myself is that I... I don't know if it's... I don't know how to explain it. I should really just get a therapist. But I'm talking to a camera. Um, my new found favorite type of YouTube video is... I love um, watching The Wizard Liz. Haley Gamba? Has she ever said her last name? I feel like I'm saying that wrong. I'm sorry. I love you. I just always want to do everything right all the time. And like nobody is like, oh, I want to do this wrong. But I just always want to do everything right. I don't like being criticized. I'm like a perfectionist. If I don't um, exceed easily at things, I get really frustrated. I don't know like what you would put that into. Um, but I'm also anxious and I also procrastinate. So how am I supposed to be a perfectionist and procrastinate? And I'm also lazy and how am I supposed to be like lazy and not be like expect to be good at things? I don't know. I, my whole life basically grew up making excuses and being like, oh, I want to be a YouTuber one day. Oh, I want to, you know like create content I don't know what the word is now because like TikTok's involved too but like oh I want to do that stuff oh baby oh I want to do that but then I never filmed anything and because if you don't film anything you can't fail at it if you don't post anything you can't fail at it I was always like oh I don't like my body but it didn't work out and if I did work out it was like the shittiest bare minimum workout just so I could tell my brain oh I worked out so basically this video is just like for people like me if you want to be confident you have to make promises to yourself and you have to keep them confidence really helps or for me at least with my anxiety confidence would completely destroy my anxiety all of my anxiety comes from insecurity i did get acupuncture and the guy doing my acupuncture and i would talk while i got the acupuncture um and he always basically worked on confidence with me and he did teach me a lot but like that was when i was 14 and i'm 22 now so you kind of lose some stuff he always knew to work on insecurity with me and i feel like i always thought i came off it's always been a false it's always been a false sense of confidence that i gave off my boyfriend sees right through it he's the first person to ever call me out on it i guess everybody's just been like oh you're confident a good thing about my boyfriend is like he doesn't he doesn't buy it or um he's like why do you say that stuff and then you act a completely different way the number one thing here is confidence comes from making promises to yourself and keeping them. What are you doing for yourself, honestly, if you just keep yourself in that negative space? Like, just think about it. Like, what... If you keep living your life now, I want you to close your eyes and picture it, where are you going to be in five years? Exactly living your life the same way, working out and eating the way you do, hanging out with the people you... I'm, I'm literally closing my eyes. <laughs> hanging out um, and spending time with people you do, consuming the same content that you do right now, watching your reality TV, watching, I don't know what people watch, your fucking prank videos, um, like just dumb meme videos and stuff like that and just scrolling on social media as much as you do and working jobs you don't like and not working out and coming home and sitting on your couch and watching TV and there's that and I understand that a lot of stuff right now is like balance and it's not healthy to like hustle culture it's not healthy to constantly like go 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 and like I no 
somebody is asking you to do that, but you're on the complete opposite of the spectrum where you're, there's no balance. Like, I'm learning as I go. I literally, what I'm telling you, I need to work on too. I don't think I had. And like, I feel like a lot of the people I watch, they're telling you stuff that they already know. <laughs> and I'm telling you stuff that I'm, I know, but I have to do it. And so we're like on this little, this little journey together. It, and like you can start small and I feel like the thing is it's a pattern so when you keep doing negative things like when you s do negative things they just trickles down and you keep doing ne I'm saying negative things but like unproductive things but then when you like check one thing off your to-do list you check everything off your to-do list like you just have to get the ball rolling and if you think about yourself in five years and you're not happy with how that's going to turn out what what are your options like what are your options your only option is to change what you're doing now and you just have to figure out what works for you because what works for you and what gets that stuff done i just started going to the gym this summer and i didn't go a lot and i've been trying my probably since i was 15 16 to work out and to eat healthy and it's just an on and off and on and off. I'm not one, I will definitely tell you I'm not one to ever like diet. I've never tried any crazy, I, I mean I, I have, but it's not like a, ever been a dieting yo-yo cycle. I thankfully haven't suffered from that. I have counted calories on and off. It, I just am very mindful of that and if it's getting unhealthy I stop. I've never been successful with working out and stuff and losing weight. And my body's never changed from doing anything until this summer when I started going to the gym. I, we were going to the gym. We were going to the gym, my boyfriend and I, probably like three times a week. And we were really sporadic with it. We were really sporadic with it and we didn't, we weren't hard on ourselves when we didn't go. It was summer, we were like, we just want to kind of get into this. And I'm more of a routine person when school starts because we do both work in school i was eating like balanced is what i can say but i was counting my calories but when you work out even in a calorie deficit you're eating a lot i just randomly weighed myself like uh mid-august maybe and i had lost 10 pounds and it was like i wasn't even trying that hard like, yeah, we went to the gym, and I pushed myself, and I felt amazing every time we went to the gym, but we weren't crazy consistent in the gym. I don't know now what I weigh. I might have gained those 10 pounds back because I since have stopped going to the gym because I'm not with my boyfriend in my gym that I signed up for. is with my boyfriend who's an hour away from me. But just the thought of, like, it, it can be easy. Once you start, it's a lot easier than you think. Another thing, um... I really need to work on is my financial side of things because whenever I am upset or whenever anything goes wrong instead of like um eating my feelings I spend my feelings and it's not even to the point where it's like I see people on TikTok and I feel like people on the internet just spend their money ridiculously because we watch influencers get all this PR and get these deals for like like brand deals and stuff where they get so much money in like clothes or whatever like the, the what's the word like an allowance to buy clothes for places so they do crazy hauls and like or they're like oh I have a small little revolve haul and the stuff sorry my card was full I feel like people are so used to seeing on line that like spending is okay and even if these people are showing you a haul and they make it seem normal like i love i love my favorite youtubers like vlog wise i really like maggie mcdonald and rachel she got married and she changed her last name autumn wreath Aut it used to be rachel radke i really love those two and they post hauls in pretty much every single one of their vlogs. So it's like normal when you're watching that. And like obviously they're influencers. Obviously even on TikTok and stuff. Ugh, people I watch like they're being paid to influence us to buy stuff. But like it's not normal for someone working a 9 to 5. Unless you're making like 
I don't know how much you make, but uh, most people starting out nine to five, whatever, whatever, can afford to buy that crazy stuff like that. Plus, like half the stuff you don't need. And I'm out here spending money on Starbucks like a ridiculous amount and I'm like do I even like the Starbucks do I even like when I like I'm trying to quit coffee just like I'm just getting this for the experience or to feel like I have money I am so into social media that I hate my clothes every few months and it's like sick it's gross and I don't like it and I'm like how am I supposed to save money my boyfriend is wonderful with his money and he has clothes that he is still wearing and he's had them for like five years and I'm like I don't even think I have a single item I've had for five years and if you come at me oh get a capsule wardrobe I think that's the most boring fucking shit like I get it you do you but a capsule wardrobe every capsule wardrobe I've seen is the same exact style and it's not mine social media so far behind from what you are financially it's just not I see people talking about like how they're just like oh just like if you're feeling sad buy it no sure if you if you don't have financial goals buy the thing money doesn't go with you when you die blah blah blah, blah. but like I have a certain lifestyle I want to live and like I understand that like on the manifestation side there's so much money in the world but like, like you're not gonna suddenly make it big on TikTok or YouTube when you don't make like <laughs> you don't make videos and this is me talking to myself too and like you're not going to be a content creator if you're not creating content and you're not become going to become this fit amazing like live in your dream body when you're not like your body's not going to change if you're not changing anything you're doing i'm really bad for saying like oh like i don't have a lot of friends and you can't just like poof manifest them to show up i mean you're not doing anything for your, your body's just not gonna change on its own like people are making money off of you being insecure and being anxious and you see like people are making money off of you wouldn't you rather make money off of yourself and just do all the productive things that you want to do i work with children a lot of them say they can't do something before they even try or they like make it look like they're trying but they're not really because they want you to do it for them um which like uh, this isn't me <laughs> this is that's a child like yeah but like you're doing the same thing when you're like oh, I don't want to post a YouTube video like I can't do that or oh, I, I can't blow up on TikTok I can't lose weight i can't have that dream body i can't eat healthy but have you tried have you really actually tried like yeah you tried enough to make it look like you were trying but like if you haven't done it consistently for three months maybe it's only going to take you 30 days everybody's different but you're not actually trying you're just saying it so you could be like well i tried i did try it same thing and the thing with confidence is if you actually stuck to all these things and like trying to do, I'm not asking you to try to do them all at once because that can be overwhelming and I understand that, but just like start small, be consistent at the gym or consistent eating healthy. And like those two I find go really well together. And what, like, cause if you start going to the gym, you're going to want to eat healthy or it's just going to like, they go hand in hand. Um, and if you eat healthy, you're going to have more energy to work out. Once you do that, you're keeping promises to yourself, you're more confident. You might be more confident with how you look. You might just be more confident with you keeping promises to yourself. You'll be more confident to make content to post. So then there's that. And then since you're posting so much content, you might be making extra money, which can then help you financial goals, whatever. There is the whole thing, if you make more money, you could also spend more money. So you have to have the right like financial mindset. I am not the person to talk about finances with right now. I am not that person. It is just start small and it'll all trickle down into each other. And confidence is hard work. And it's not built in a day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. 
leave me a comment down below something else I could talk about um, a few things I do have ideas for videos in the future so let me know if like they interest you is divine feminine um, healing your inner child um, I, I want to do vlogs I want to like talk about like not caring what people think living as your best self because that's something really I'm trying to do and I want others to do the same comment down below some ideas like this video please subscribe it was nice talking to you. It's nice to get all that out there. And I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Ow. 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 Sweetness.